Don't you know our love is stronger than anything in the whole world? I still can't believe you're here. But I am. And I will never leave you again. Daddy! Daddy! Yes, you would. More orange juice, please. Yeah. Oh, I got it. No worries. Thank you. Sure. Oh. Oh. Are you mad at Kara? Of course I'm not mad at Kara. Why would you ask me something like that? Because she slept in the man cave and you slept on the couch. Why is that? I'm not necessarily angry with Kara. It's just, do you know how sometimes when you or your sister need to take a time out? Well, that's sort of what Kara and I were doing last night. You know, we were just taking a time out. But I thought timeouts were only for people who messed up or were bad. What are you, a referee? <laughs> no. You remind me so much of your mama. No, sometimes timeouts are. Just that, just two people trying to figure things out, you know? Sunshine? Are you Here my you go, sunshine? Mm -hmm. oh. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you grab that backpack so we can go to camp and not be late? Mm -hmm. All right. Hey. Hi. Morning. Morning. So. So? You told her we were having a timeout because that's why you're on the couch. Yeah. And the reason I was on the couch is I stayed up late thinking about things, and I just, I guess I dozed off. Were you thinking about us? Sure. <laughs> about us. Did you come to any conclusions? I like our arrangement, you know. I think it works. Really, I do. I mean, as long as we stay married, you stay safe. But uh, I think I'm going to draw the line at the gratitude kisses, you know. I don't think they're, they're doing either one of us any good. I'm sorry I said the gratitude word. Because you mean more to me than that. Oh, no, wait, listen. Listen, listen, take it easy. I, 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 uh, I, I'm not fishing for reassurance. I, no, I, I swear. I never meant to hurt you. I swear. I so. know, I know. I believe you. I believe you. Okay. Well, do, you, do you want to get ready and we can go take a walk and talk? Or We're not... We're not doing the walk. I know. I, I hope so. I hope so. Listen, I'm not like, you know. Okay. The voice of death here is just, I think, for now, you just got to give me a little while to sort of figure things out so neither one of us feels, you know, guilty or obligated or any one of a number of other feelings. As God knows, right now, I got a million of them. What do you mean? I mean, just, you know, for right now, maybe just just give me a, a rain shot. Let me walk, okay? Okay. Well, how about Dr. Keller? Hi, babe, it's me. Look, I don't know what happened. You just took off, but um, if I said something or, you know, whatever that upset you, just, just call me, okay? Call me. Thanks. You lose something? I hope not. Can you call me Salita again? Yeah. Remember it, huh? My mommy's favorite song. That's right. You are my sunshine. You know, your daddy has told me all about your mommy. And she sounds like a wonderful person. I wish I'd known her. Isn't she pretty? She's beautiful. Just like you. She's with the angels, but now I have you and Crystal. Yes, you do, honey. Yes, you do. I don't know. I, she hasn't been the same since she's had this information about the negative pregnancy test. And it's, I don't, you know, she's just, it's, she's desperate. Desperate? Yes, and the last time 
she's 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 scared and she's she's acting like she's being chased away. You know, the last time this happened is she ran into David's arms. Oh, wait a minute. Let's not go crazy here, okay? Even if Amanda is upset, I don't think that's an option anymore. Well, you know, me, I like to put it on somebody else, right? So I can't pin this on David. I can't pin this on her. I can't pin this on her mother. It's me. It's got something to do with me. Down the road with Kara that I shouldn't have gone down, right? Oh, almost. no, and I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to bore you with what I almost didn't want to do. It's a conversation. Yeah, it's a bore. It's a, no, it's a problem. Besides, it's like, you know, I was there. You were there. Kara was there. Amanda was there. It's ancient history. Not to my wife, it's not. You don't know that. I do know You that. don't know that. Panicking. You're not the only one that's spending a little too much time in memory lane these days. What is it? What do you mean? It's me and Kara. I don't... Something's wrong. I mean, I... She's... She's amazing, man. She's terrific. And we've been growing closer, you know? I mean, it's wonderful. I'm to the point where I... I, I, I would almost think that something that started out as a phony marriage could turn into a real one. Now, for some reason, I can't, I, I can't go there. I just keep, I keep pushing it away. You know, and at first I thought it was maybe the history between you two, and then it was the, the age difference, and then it was any number of Now that you do this, you always do this. Do what? Forget that this is about care or Simplifying not. Simplifying me no, down I'm to just a stereotype? Am I boring you? a thousand you? yards of you, any woman, you start talking about Dixie. It's amazing. I can't help it. Are you crazy? No, I'm so, you no, no, no. I, I, I feel like the feelings that I have for Kara mean I'm betraying Dixie. Listen, is, is that brother, strange? Listen to me, listen to me. My big brother, I love you. And, and if she's going to be with somebody, I could only be thrilled that she was with somebody like you, somebody that was a good man like you, somebody that made her happy, even if she doesn't really know that. So don't do what I do and, and let the past stop you from appreciating what's right in front of you, okay? Folks, just kick me, would you? <laughs> oh, no, not you, too. Come on. Spill. Are you okay? No, oh. I'm not okay. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm... I'm I'm, I'm worried about Amanda, and I wasn't going to say that, but I'm... I am, I am. What happened? I just think that she didn't take the being not pregnant thing very well, and, uh... Why, do you, unless you think it's something else. What do you mean? Well, you spend a lot of time in privacy and with her, and I thought if she told I'm not, something... I can't talk to you about that, Jake. You know that. Okay, but this is us. We never really played by the books. Hmm. So... It's just that my wife's not talking to me, and if she's in trouble, something's going on. I just really would hope you would tell me. I mean, I'm, I'm asking you, please. I mean, I'm crazy about Kara. I really am. She's amazing, you know? And I think what... I think we could have something special, you know? And I, what I can't figure out is why I'm, I'm shoving it away, you know? I mean... Why on earth am I thinking so much about Dixie lately? Remember? Remember telling me that you felt like a hero when you married Kara? Yeah, I do, so? Well, it's kind of a high pedestal, you know, for a girl to climb up. I don't understand. Did you feel like you were Dixie's hero? Was that supposed to be a shot? You know the answer to that. Well, remind me. 
Well, don't be ridiculous. I mean, anything but. I was just me with Dixie. <laughs> I mean, I took advantage of her. I, I drove her away because of my selfishness more than once. Oh, I don't know if I'd agree with all that, but the, the two of you were on equal ground. So you think I put Kara in this position? Because I, I wanted to come across like some kind of knight in shining armor. With Dixie, I, I didn't have to. I was just me. All I wanted from Dixie was her. Now you're a genius. Others like you are as rare as hen's teeth. I don't know what I'd do without you. Sometimes I even surprise myself. I think you should be having this conversation with Amanda. Right. I'm not saying this because I'm hiding behind doctor-patient confidentiality. No. I'm saying yeah, this, fine. Jake. Listen to me. I care about you. Okay? Well, then I apologize. Shouldn't have asked you. <laughs> you got enough on your plate, being married to my brother and all. <clears throat> what about that? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. What do you he mean? He was here, and he was just here, so that's why he's... Was he looking for me? Probably. I don't know. Probably. Mm -hmm. Didn't look happy. What happened? Something happened. I said I was grateful. <gasps> the old grateful up the middle trick. No, I, I am grateful, it. though. I am grateful. I, was, I am. I was grateful to you for treating me like an equal, not some fragile little girl. Why doesn't, why doesn't he understand? Well, I think that's because we had a little more than gratitude going for us. We have love had. What I feel for him is more than gratitude. <sighs> yeah. And I, I, well, part of me hates hearing you say that. The selfish part, the, the possessive, the possessive part. I don't know, and I'm not going to say it doesn't make me feel weird to say this, but, you know, I love my brother, and I'll always love you, so if you're asking me if it's okay, like if you should go for it or something, maybe you should go for it. I mean, let's feel Hi. Cool. You know, I, I want to have a word with you talk. if I can... Yeah. Do you, you want to go? No, you first. Are you sure? Ladies first, please. Uh, thanks. Okay. Okay. So I don't know where we're going to go from here, but I do know I don't want to give up our walks. <laughs> is that too much to ask? That is. That is. That is great. Okay. That's terrific. Okay. okay. Uh, you know what? Really... Walks back on the menu. <laughs> great. And you know what? Talking is good, too. Really? What yes. are we going to talk about? I'm sorry, we're going to talk about the fact that I'm the one that's to blame for the gratitude. I'm the one that put you in a really, really impossible situation. What? That's you, what I'm guilty no, of. No, you no, no, didn't. No, wait, wait, wait. It's my fault. See, when we got married, I got to feel like a big shot. Oh I got to gosh. feel like, no, 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 wait, that I, Ted Martin, had saved the life of a good woman. You saved right. my life. Right. Well, <laughs> in doing so, I wanted something in return. See, I wanted you to be beholden to me. I, I wanted, oh. I wanted to be your hero. You're my hero. So that's you are my gratitude. hero. Yeah, but it, that you know, heroes in heroes only work in movies. In real life, you know, in a marriage like a real marriage, you're gonna have to settle for little old me, dings and all. Is that okay? It's my not okay. And I don't consider it settling. Awesome. Why? I swear, there's like there's an elf <laughs> that lives in your Look, pocket. Look, why don't we every just... Every time... Saved by the bell. No, no I'm going to take it... a rain check on that walk. I'm going to hold you to...